they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their shame. They shall mount up of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall run the of Jesus and Christ. not be so Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord. In the name of wait, Jesus Christ. How to wait. They wait on the Lord shall Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk in that faith. Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ, to whom always we bear witness, there is no God like our God. To whom all appreciation are due, to whom all thanksgiving are due. To whom all worship are due to the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and Jacob. None like him, none after him, none equal to him. Hallelujah. None before him, none like him, is all by himself. We thank our Almighty for his blessings, grace, and mercy that keeps sustaining us. In our walks of life, we're still here. We praise God to the apostles and prophets of old that helped this message from their time to our time. Honor to God, to our dear pastor, teacher, and guide, the apostle Gino Jennings. God continue to bless them, to inspire the world. Come back to God while there's still time. Honor to God, to all the ministers also. In the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, God bless them all. We thank God for his blessings upon us all. If you're new on our platform, welcome to the truth of God in the South Pacific, where nothing else exists but the truth. Here we don't compromise. Here we're not here to make friends and look for pals. Here we have one goal, to live holy, walk holy, and continue in the way of holiness for the coming of a holy God. Greetings to all brothers and sisters in Christ. We thank God for his blessings. We honor God also. Somebody didn't make it last week, but you did. Somebody didn't make it yesterday, you did. Somebody didn't make it to this evening, but you did. Blessed be his holy name. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy that continues to keep us together. No matter what we go through in life, God has kept us until this time. God is coming. Are we prepared to meet God? That's the ultimate question to all of us this evening. Warning, brothers and sisters, the future don't look good. The future is uncertain. The future is changing. Everything is changing around you and around your family and around your children. But most of all, your faith is going to be put to the test. Be prepared. Praise the Lord. Pray 
So you will be prepared for what you pray for. It don't matter how long you've been in the faith, you can fall out any time without you even knowing what happened. So be prepared, be prayerful in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Follow me in Holy Scriptures, brethren. I preach not of myself. I preach of him that keep sending the message to break us, make us feel guilty, make us change our ways, make us repent daily, make us to love God more and more and to abound in his gracious mercy over us day after day, sunrise and sunset. We're still here. Praise the Lord. Follow me in all the scriptures, brethren, in the book of Bishop James. Praise the Lord. St. James, chapter number four, we'll come as reading at verses number five, six, and seven, nine, and ten. And be blessed with this message in the name of Jesus Christ. Truth is not determined by a majority. Praise the Lord. Don't play with God's mercy. Don't play when you're in the truth of God. Don't play with the time that you have left with God, especially in the truth of God. Stop playing with God in the truth of God because you can lose your position being in the truth of God without you even know what happened. Praise the Lord. The deadliest contagion disease in the church is the opinion of the majority. If we just follow God's guidance, follow Holy Scriptures, there's only one leader here, Jesus Christ, you see. He instructs, he leads, we follow. That's it. He's in charge of everything. The minister just prays and preach the message that comes from the leader himself, Jesus Christ. The overseer is Jesus Christ. Everything that comes is Jesus Christ, and that's what's happening in the truth of God. And that's why it's expanding quickly in the South Pacific in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, question of the day. Are you glorifying God in what you do or you glorify yourself? Always ask that because pride and humility never go together. Let one go. One will give you self-destruction. One will give you blessing of the Lord. Choose one. And before our message tonight, if tomorrow never comes, Will you be happy with the life you lived today? Will you be satisfied what you lived for today? If tomorrow never comes, are you happy how you lived for God today? If you don't wake up tomorrow morning, are you happy? to what you have lived for God until this time. Comes our Holy Scripture for this evening in the book of James, chapter 4. It will commence reading at verses number 5. Please, always be yourself. People don't have to like you. And you don't have to care. Remember that. There's only one person here you have to please. is Jesus Christ himself. James 4, 5, and it reads, Brother Christopher. James chapter 4 and at verse 5. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain? Hold on a minute. The scripture is challenging us for itself. Do you think that the scripture, everything the scripture is saying in vain? So like the question I asked before, if tomorrow never comes for you, sisters, if tomorrow never comes for you, brothers, are you happy with the life 
you have made, the change you have made, the prayer life you have adapted to, the holiness you have adapted to, the working of God in your life. Have you done enough? If tomorrow never comes, are you happy to meet up with God with the life you live today? Are you happy to live this life with all the friends you are involved with, with the company you're involved with, with the majority you are involved with? Are they influencing you to holiness or to self? We always have to remember every day we live is life is our last day. Because you just don't know when. Thousands are going every day. Funerals over, funerals over, funerals. Aunties over aunties, uncles and you name it. They are dying every day. You're still here. God bless you with that time. Then now we're in the truth of God. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the truth of God. And I thank God for the church I am. And I thank for you all, brothers and sisters, who have been in the truth of God with Minister Marx. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I always say to every brethren that I made the truth of God as harsh minister. You guys preach too rough and tough. Hold on a minute. The truth of God is where the hypocrites are, where the fornicators are, where the adulterers are. Where the criminals are, because only that church can handle people like us. Hard hands. So God can break us, change us. In the name of Jesus Christ, and God can turn a pillar into an apostle. Hallelujah. What do you think God can do for you? Comes our scripture. Do you think that the scripture says in vain? Continue reading, sir. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? Oh, okay. Good question. Thank you, scripture, for reminding us. So what kind of spirit do you have in you? Praise the Lord. You pray with us. You testify with us. You sing good songs to us. But what kind of spirit that you have, the scripture is telling you this evening. Not everyone deserves to know the real you. Please understand. Let them, let them criticize who they think you are. Because it is the nature of man to fight the things they don't understand. Praise the Lord. Let them criticize about you. They don't know who you are. But God does. Praise the Lord. Comes James 4, 6, sir, and it reads. But he giveth more grace. More grace. Yes, continue, sir. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud. But God give us more grace. God give us more mercy. No matter how rebellious we are, no matter how stubborn we are, no matter we can fall in, in, that, in the truth of God, we can't handle this, but we're still working at it. God still give his mercy, his grace, keeping you alive so you'll have time enough to make it right. And at the same time, he's informing you, whatever you're struggling with, I will help you, but I will resist anything inside of you that is proud. So God educates us at the same time, give us grace at the same time. Praise the Lord. Continue, sir. God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Gives grace and humble. Praise the Lord. Break the pride. Break the ego. Break whatever you come with. And God is just asking, all God is asking is humble. Humble yourself, Minister Mars. Humble yourself, Brother Christopher. Humble yourself, Brother Daniel. Let me do everything for you. Humble, humble. I keep giving you grace. I keep giving you time. I keep giving you mercy. Day after day, after week, after month, year after year. Grace and mercy. Grace and mercy. Working on you. Work on yourself. Humble. That's all you need to do. Humble yourself. Praise the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ.
lies. Let go of who you were. Because if you've done, you'll never know who you truly can be. Blessed be his holy name. Let go of who you are. How can you know your true self if you don't let go? Blessed be his holy name. When God keeps giving you grace, giving you mercy, he wants you to let go. Blessed be his holy name. You will never know who you truly can be. And let go of who you were and focus on who you will become. Praise the Lord. Deal. Let yourself deal be yourself. Deal me to me. I'm here in the truth of God. I'm trying to deal with myself. Father, for the first time in my life, I would have an opportunity and chance to speak to you, to help me, sort me out. Praise the Lord. You're not here because the majority is here. You're not here because of hype. You're not here because of emotion and feeling, because you want everybody to see. You are here because you want the Father to work on you. But if you want the Father to work on you, the number one thing you must do is come on. Oh, Jesus Christ, on the floor, flat to the ground. Lord Jesus, I'm not worthy to come to you. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Humble. He give you grace so you learn how to humble yourself. He give you grace so you learn how to humble your mouth. He give you grace so you learn how to humble your mind. He give you grace so you learn how to humble your pride. Break it, smash it down, and humble. James is encouraging. Blessed be his holy name. Continue reading, sir. Praise the Lord. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Lord Jesus, submit yourselves, therefore, unto God. Not half of it, not what you think, not everything. Submit yourselves unto God. You came into the truth of God because the scripture, the word of God came through the mouth of our overseer, Pastor Jennings. You got convicted. You wanted to change. You wanted to humble yourself. Now, submit yourselves. What is the benefit of this, Brother Christopher? Continue. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Humble yourselves and submit yourself to God. You want to fight the devil? You've got to go to God. Ask God for help. Don't fight it on your own. You can't beat the devil. You're going to need somebody stronger than you. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Humble. That's all he's asking. Humble yourself. Submit yourself to God. Then listen and then God will help you out. Read that scripture again, sir. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Submit yourself unto God. Why? Why do I have to submit myself, minister, to God, and then resist the devil? Why can't I just resist the devil? No. You have to submit yourself first because the devil is using you. Praise the Lord. To rebel against yourself and to destroy your own self. Blessed be his holy name. So you got to submit yourself to God. Humble yourself to God. Let God be in you. Then that's how you're going to fight the devil. God will fight it. Not you. Not me. Not us. Praise the Lord. This is a different fight. The devil used us, like what I said this morning. He's been using you, using your mind, using your body, Hallelujah, to destroy yourself. Now you bring yourself to God in submission, in humility. Because as soon as you submit to God, God comes right to and say, Satan, it's time to pack that suitcase of yours, that suitcase of yours, and that cabinet of yours, and whatever comes with you, you got to go. Praise the Lord. Submit, resist, and the devil will flee. Why? Because the owner is back. The king is back. God Almighty is back. 
Get out! In the name of Jesus Christ. Continue reading, sir. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Draw nigh unto God, and he will draw nigh unto you. Draw nigh. Get closer to God. Hallelujah. In your prayer life, get closer to God. In the word of God. Learn how to worship God on your own. Because I've seen brothers and sisters, they worship God better with the crowd. They worship God better with the music. Hallelujah. They worship God better with the band, with the orchestra, with the brethren singing here and there. But try worshiping God on your own. Woo! In the name of Jesus Christ. You only got one person to talk to. It's God. And whatever devil is in you, you can hit it hard. Hit on. You, the devil, and God. You, the devil, and God. And ask our Lord, Please help me with my pride. Break me from my pride. Break me from my evil. You are fighting it on your own with the strength of the Lord. Draw an eye unto me, and I will draw an eye unto you. Let's be his holy name. The best audience and crowd you should worship God is God himself. Praise the Lord. In your prayer time, worship God. When you're reading the word, worship God. When you're walking and the earphone is in your ear, the scriptures is reciting, the circus, the choir is singing. Hallelujah. The worshipers are worshiping. You're worshiping God on your own while you're walking, while you're walking and taking whatever health issues that you have that you're doing with your own self. You're talking to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Mr. Moscow for walk 6,000 steps a day. Today I had to lift up to 7,000. Hallelujah. Just for my health, to keep me healthy, so I can take God's word everywhere he wants me to. The same time I'm talking to Jesus. Yes, Lord. Just a little, more, a little bit more steps. Yes, Lord. Yes, I heard that. The choir will be singing. One of our choir songs will come up over, and I'll be dancing by myself and have a look. And so nobody's looking. Enjoy your worship with God on your own. Praise the Lord. I'll be playing Holy Scriptures on my phone, and I'll be reciting it while the phone is reciting. No Facebook, no YouTube. You don't have time for that. You're walking. Blessed is the man that walking not in the council of the ungodly. I'm talking to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the time you know it, instead of walking 7,000 steps, you pass 10,000. Why? Because you were too busy talking to God. Blessed be his holy name. Change your routine. Change your habits. Change whatever program you set yourself ever since you came into the truth of God. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. Continue, sir, and finish off. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. Lord Jesus, cleanse your hands, ye sinners. Hallelujah. Yes. And purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Lord Jesus, forgive us of our sins. Go to verse number 10, sir, in James 14. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Humble yourself. In the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and let God do the lifting for you. You don't have to lift yourself. You don't have to do anything for yourself. Let God do the lifting. Because when God do the lifting, he'll put you in every situation that you don't think you should be. He will put you there. Why? Because inside of you is God. Inside of you is God, and the heart of yours is humbleness. Your humbleness will lift you up. Sin, it takes you where you don't want to go. Sin, it keeps you longer than you want to stay. Sin, it will cost you more than you want to pay. Humble yourself 
in the sight of the law. I don't care who's doing better than me. I just want to know that I'm doing better like last year, better than two years ago, better than four years ago when I first came in to the truth of God. That's what I want to know. Lord, how's my progress? Lord, how is it that, that I'm doing? Lord, help me to adjust, adapt, keep changing my ways. Scripture on James is warning us tonight, you don't have to do nothing, Minister Mars. Just humble yourself. No matter how the majority attacks you, no matter how people don't like you, no matter how people don't love the way you live, I'm not leading again. God is leading. Humble yourself. Let me lift you up. In four years, God lifted up the truth of God here in the South Pacific. And many people have been saved because there are many of them are because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Humble. Humble. You want to get somewhere, brother and sister? You want God's help? You got to go low. And the best schooling that I give you and educate you is neology. Get used to your knees. Bow before God at all times when it's needed to. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord and God will lift you up. Blessed be his holy name. Emotion don't lift you up. Height don't lift you up. The majority of the crowd don't lift you up. Your humility lifts you up. The success of the South Pacific today is humility. Lord, you lead. We follow. Lord, you are in charge. We just serve it unto thee. Humble. That's why the devil is angry with us. And the devil is coming to your homes through your brothers and sisters and taking as many as they can. And many are falling out. Why? Humility is missing. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. Bishop James is encouraging us tonight. You don't need to do much. Just humble. Praise the Lord. Humble. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And God will lift you up. Humble. If you think you're on your own, praise God. But God will never leave you. But humble yourself. Don't let your pride get to your mind. And don't let the devil get to you. Please, somebody, put a restraining order on that devil. Keep bothering your life. Put him under arrest in the name of Jesus Christ. No more. That is up to you to say that. James is encouraging us tonight. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. And he will lift you up. The gospel of the truth of God is spreading around the South Pacific. Whether you're strong enough to hold. Whether you have something to do with it. It has nothing to do with you. It was God all from the beginning. Many will fall. But I encourage those who are still holding on. Hold on to the fault. Please, wherever you are, be encouraged. Hold on, sister. Hold on, brother. People's going to hate you for it. You hold on. People's going to come and discourage you and tell you about negative things about people. Don't worry about other people. Worry about yourself. Praise the Lord. And many of us only have a pole to hold on to this church. I'll hold on to that pole until you cut it off. Hold on to what God has brought you in. Hold on to where God has brought you in. Look at you how God washed away you. Many of us have rough lives. Many of us have broken pieces in our lives. Many of us have been scarred and wounded. Many of us have been through some trials and tribulations. But you never thought that God will save you until this day to see where you stand. In the blessed name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Many of us have no good.
people's lives. Many of us could have died on the mountain in suicide, in drugs, in drunkenness. Many of us broken because of relationship that has happened. But God has not forgotten about you and cut you off. He still kept you this long. Many have left your life, many have disappeared and never came back. You're still alive. And God has been merciful on you. Your life where you came from, your upbringing, it may be rough, it may be hard, no parents, hallelujah, refugee, whatever you call it, in other situations, sexual abuse, abuse, any kind of abuse. But you, my God, God's mercy, you're still here. Blessed be his holy name. There are times you thought you are no good. There are times you thought you're hopeless. There are times you thought, oh Lord, I'm nothing. Look at me. But you're still here by God's mercy. Blessed be his holy name. When people say that you used to know, you're no good, you're hopeless, you're nobody, you're still here. Your family rejects you, your family neglects you. Look at that, they're still looking up to you and say, wow, you're still holding on. Who's holding you? God, because of your humility. Stay humble in the sight of the Lord and God will lift you up. Just enough to put those criticizers to nothing. Praise the Lord. Many call me on the phone and ask me for counsel. Minister Mas, how would I know that, that, that God has forgiven me? My past is playing with my mind. It's like I'm hopeless. I, I shouldn't be here. I'm a liar. I exist. We are all liars, brethren. We are all hypocrites. But if God didn't have mercy on you, you wouldn't be breathing right now as you're watching this message. You are a privileged son. You are a privileged daughter. You are a privileged father. You are a privileged mother. You are a privileged, privileged, privileged. But many families are breaking. Many children are disastrous. Many are murdered. Many are killed. But you, brother and sister, are still here by God's mercy. Praise the Lord. Many sick, almost to the edge of your life, under hanging on the threat. You're still here. Your parents left you when you're young, gave you away. You never thought that God loves you. You had a hard life. You're still here. <laughs> Blessed be His holy name. Even in your old days, you didn't know something bad's going to happen. It came out of your family, disastrous. Breakthrough. You never even thought that something could happen like that in your home. Let the be his holy name. You're still here, preserved by the Almighty God. Blessed be his holy name. Because if God didn't forgive you, you wouldn't be hearing this message tonight. Thank God for his mercy. Thank God for his grace that you're still walking today and permitted to hear his word. If you're still alive tonight hearing this message, humble thyself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up enough for you to handle. When the world say you're nobody, not with God, let God use your life to irritate other people's demon that used to run it out. Let God work in you. Let God be glorified in your life to be a testament to the world. The song says, when I look around me, I'm blessed. You are blessed to be here. By God's mercy, thank God for his truth and for Holy Scriptures. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord will lift you up. Father, thou art divine, thou art powerful, thou art the almighty God. 
Thank you for your word. Continue to encourage us. Hold steadfastly. Humble ourselves before you. You will lift us up. When time is right according to your will. I pray for every brother and sister. No matter what we have been in life. Please Lord help us to stand. Hold on. Many are falling. Many have let go. The current is too strong. Please, those who are still holding on, hold on. Those who are walking through affliction, Lord, your helping hand is needed. Those who are struggling with addictions of their own, please, your delivering hand is needed. Those of us who are with infirmities and illnesses, your healing hand is needed. But for all of us, please, Lord, give us the courage. Hold on. Hold on in the name of Jesus Christ. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. Bless us all, Lord. Thank you for your word. Continue to give us strength and courage to hold on to you. Help us, Lord, not to be taken by the wave of the majority and opinions they have, but to trust you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for your word tonight. Humble our sight ourselves before thee and let you do the lifting for us. Bless us, Lord, wherever we may be. Hold us. Keep us, Lord. Encourage us to hold on. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for sparing us. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Hallelujah. Blessed be thy name, O oh Lord. Help us to hold on. Gonna get harder, it's gonna get tougher. Help us want to hold on. Thank you for your mercy and grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Amen. And amen. Blessings and peace be unto you, brethren. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we new their strength? They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. So teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord. Teach me love.